concerns tonight from the Bywater after a new and very large graffiti tag popped up on the backside of the former Naval Support Complex. The city of New Orleans now owns the 25-acre site and is working with the developer, but as Paul Dudley tells us, it's still unclear when exactly that building is going to be fixed up. The latest tag on the old Naval Support Complex in the Bywater can be seen from across the Industrial Canal. Open your eyes. Even though it's massive, neighbors say the graffiti is only the beginning of a long list of problems with the vacant building. Uh, well, I've seen uh, numerous people come in and out with items. They're stolen almost everything in there from copper to whatever furniture that was once in there. And it doesn't stop there. According to the Bywater Neighborhood Association, the building has also become a shoot-up den for drug addicts. You really can't come outside on your porch because you don't know where they're coming from. When I see them coming out there, I go back inside. And it isn't just neighbors concerned with this problem. It's business owners, too. It was nice when the, the um, neighbor base was there. And, and after they shut the base down, it, it kind of dwindled down. We lost probably 30, 40 percent of our, our lunch trade. You know? In the fall of 2016, the city and EMDRC partners finalized a lease agreement. It states the redevelopment should accommodate apartments, offices, first responders during disasters, and a space for city facilities. But the city is not in charge of security. That's up to the developer. When I reached out to them, they just said they're working on it. In the meantime, the building is falling even further into disrepair. Hard news to take for neighbors like Leonard Jackson, who have fond memories of what the building used to be. I joined the military over 50 years ago over that building. It was a beautiful building way back then. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. According to the city, the developers are expected to submit plans for the site by May of this year.